One of the most frequently asked questions I get in the comment section or in my DMs is how to reach out to brands as a UGC creator. Now, I've already made a video on where to find these potential clients or these brands to work with, but this is going to be a kind of a part two to that video on how to actually reach out to them and what to say and things to include in your initial email. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're yet again talking about user-generated content. If you're new here, I have a whole playlist of all of the things you need to know before getting started with UGC. Definitely when you're a creator, you're doing more than just filming and editing and sending videos and working with brands. You actually have to pitch yourself to brands. You have to close deals and and, you know, organize deliverables. And there's just so much going into being a content creator in general. So we're going to touch one aspect of that. And that's actually reaching out to brands and sort of negotiating deals. One of the places is just social media, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, Twitter is just such a hot spot for UGC creators. There's a whole community on there, lots of agencies. So if you're already on social media, obviously the best place to reach out to people is through the DMs. And in a couple minutes, I'll include what to actually say, but I'm just gonna kind of go down the list with the platforms I've already talked about before. I touched a little bit on LinkedIn a little bit, but the best way to reach out to them is just finding an agency on LinkedIn and kind of like doing some stalking, try to figure out who's the founder or the CEO or head of marketing of this agency and see what their personal email is or go on the agency's email and see if there's like a special email that you can reach out for inquiries, partnerships. I feel like messaging them straight up on LinkedIn, you probably won't get a response right away. So I highly recommend just doing a little bit of digging if you're on LinkedIn and just try to find an email address and just shoot your shot through there. And since we're talking about social media, Obviously, the extra tip is just being active on all of these social media platforms that you're on, whether you're on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter, make sure you're just active and engaging with the community on there. I feel like nowadays, there's so many UGC creators in all of these different platforms, even Pinterest. I just found out that there's UGC creators on Pinterest. So kind of immerse yourself in that community and get involved because and also another way to find potential brands or clients to work with is is if one of your UGC friends is not really fit for that campaign, maybe they can refer that to you. Now, I've also mentioned that I'm a big fan of Upwork. Highly recommend just getting on maybe 10, 15 minutes in the morning and seeing what kind of projects are out there and just be active in submitting proposals. Definitely apply to projects that you're genuinely interested in because I feel like when you're submitting a proposal, you're more passionate in your proposal and they're most likely going to write back to you or even get a deal. Upwork has a amazing feature where you can create project catalogs. I really want to do like a deep dive like Upwork building your profile video in the future. So I'm not going to say too much, but I definitely recommend looking into project catalogs because that way clients can actually reach out to you through there. So that's another way to get some inbound requests. And again, not necessarily always outbound. So now that we covered uh, briefly what kind of platforms you can use to reach out to clients, what do you exactly say? So the first thing I'm going to dive into is the DM conversation. Now there's such an array of people that say that DMs work for them best or email works for them best. For me personally, I write an initial DM if I'm looking for an email address. I feel like email is more professional in that way and DMs can kind of get lost in just all of the craziness because there's a lot of customer service that's happening in the DM. So I just always reach out and ask for a partnership email. I introduce myself. I give a very brief description of who I am because I'm going to save more of a deeper description in my initial email. So basically I'll just be like, hi, I'm Faith. I'm a user generated content creator based in Washington. Make sure that you do include that you're a UGC creator because oftentimes a lot of brands will kind of get confused between a content creator okay you're you might be an influencer so you might be like categorized in that influencer ambassador program that's like one of the biggest struggles as a UGC creator because it's so new so definitely include I'm a user-generated content creator and then just say something like 
I really would love to work with your brand. I really love your brand's mission. Just something super, super brief. And then just ask if there is an email that you can send your portfolio or discuss further about this opportunity. Super brief, like two, three, maybe four lines of messages because again, a lot of the messages that brands get in DMs is mostly customer service. So you don't wanna be in the whole mix. Okay, so you got the brand email, you found it, now you wanna reach out to them. What do you say? So there's three parts to this email. Again, you kind of want to keep it brief. You don't want to have a whole essay of why you want to work with them and who you are, but you want to introduce yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? How long have you been doing UGC for? And I know a lot of people are just brand new into the space and they're just getting started. So maybe include why you're so passionate about videography, photography, what kind of style of content you like to create, something like that. Part two is why do you wanna work with this brand? I love reaching out to brands that I genuinely use and I genuinely love. For this example, I have been loving the certain toothpaste company. Something about it I just really like. I love the ingredients that they use. I love their brand's mission. So when I reached out to them, I made sure I said, I really love your brand's mission. I've tried your toothpaste. I really like your toothpaste. This specific peppermint one is my favorite. I haven't gone back. Something like that. I feel like having a little bit of passion behind the brand instead of just saying, hey, I wanna work with you. So in my opinion, I just feel like it's a little bit easier to work with them if you've known the product and used the product for a while. Also include why would they benefit working with you? Do you have a specific idea already in mind? Do you have some sort of value you can bring to the table? Because imagine hundreds of people that are just like you are reaching out to all these brands wanting to work with them. Why should they pick you? And I know it's kind of like a little overwhelming to think about, but it could be as simple as you have a different editing style. Your editing style is more simplistic and that's more of the branding that they have. Something as simplistic as that can really help and can really answer that question of why you wanna work with them so bad. And then obviously a closing, you wanna kinda of keep this short and sweet. Say how excited you are with working for them and to hear their thoughts and ideas about this. Now, a little bonus tip, if you get no response, cause we've all felt this way before where we send out this email, it's amazing, perfect email, but it's been a couple days and they haven't answered yet. Again, keep in mind that there are probably hundreds of people just like you wanting to work with them too, and their email is just flooded with all of these inquiries. So don't take it personally that they haven't responded to you. Maybe they just haven't seen your email yet. So what I would do is like, two, three, maybe four days later, I would do a follow-up email being like, hey, just wanna make sure that you read this email, still would love to work with you. Um, something short and simple like that. So hopefully this kind of gives you a good guide of what to do when you're reaching out to brands and how to navigate that whole thing. Cause especially when you're just getting started and you aren't really familiar with the space, it's definitely overwhelming. And you're just like, what the heck do I say? So if this helps you give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. If you have any additional comments, obviously let me know. I'll get back to you on that. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow my socials link down below. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video video really soon. Bye!